Welcome. In front of me is a Oppo A96 and today I'll show you how you can go through the setup of your brand new phone. So, when you boot it up for the first time you should be presented with this screen right over here. And as you can see by default it is in my well, native language so I'm going to quickly change it to a more desirable one which would be English. There we go. And from here you can go to the next page. Obviously you don't need to select English, you can choose any other language that you would like to use, but assuming you're watching this and um, you're basically trying to understand this in English, I'm assuming that probably will be your preferred language as well. Anyway, on the next page you can select your region, this will define the time zone. And on the next page we have terms of service, you can tap on these tiny little icons of information right here on the first two and this will allow you to basically read the exact like entire user agreement and also the privacy policy that you have right here although actually scamly it doesn't actually give us the entire thing we need to then press right here to actually view the entire damn thing so anyway now once you read them assuming you even want to bother with it you will need to check off the first two boxes right here that have read and agreed to them and from there you can go to the next page the two below that are optional so you don't need to bother with them then we have use mobile data so this just allows the device to use mobile data from your sim card i don't have a sim card inserted so this doesn't really make any difference for me right here and then moving on to the next page we can connect to wi-fi so by either inserting your sim card or connecting to wi-fi uh, you will have the ability to also log into your Google account throughout the setup process and if you choose to skip both of them like I will uh, then Google login page will not show up throughout the setup process though I can later on change that in settings and additionally date and time usually isn't set automatically so that's I'm gonna skip this obviously you can connect to it like I mentioned now this is taking a little bit longer than it should so I'm gonna pause the video let it uh, I don't know, check for updates apparently, even though it's not connected to network, uh, Android these days for you. And uh, yeah, if it goes further, I'm gonna start recording. If not, I am guess I'm gonna try to find a solution. So, there we go. I'll see you guys in part two, which should be spliced together, so don't worry. So, once you actually go back, because you're literally forced back in there to reconnect to Wi-Fi for no reason, you can actually finish up the stupid setup now. Hmm just fantastic anyway let's disregard this garbage page from google uh, apparently it doesn't really matter here what we select from here we can choose our uh, browser or search engine more more like uh, so as you can see we have a couple options right here like bing that that go google and so on so choose whichever one you want to use um, there we go. And we're getting back to getting your phone ready. And there we go. So here we can set up some kind of uh, screen lock to our device. Uh, we have three different options. We have uh, password, which includes pen pattern or password, uh, fingerprint and face recognition. Now, if you're planning to use any of the two below ones, either both of them or just one, uh, you are also always required to set up some kind of physical way of unlocking the device that be pen pattern or password. For here, I'm just gonna set up a pattern. So let me change it to pattern. There we go, it's now set. Recommended auto, auto update overnight. Um, you can check this on if you want to. The device will basically update itself over the night. And I believe when, if you have this off, I think it still might do it. Just when it finds an update, it's just gonna start spamming you till one day it's just gonna if you keep putting it off, uh, it's just gonna be like, not F you, I'm gonna install it anyway. At least that's how it is for my phone, so... I assume all the Androids do the same thing. Here we have option to import data, uh, which you can basically copy all your apps, uh, data, documents, music, and so on. From here, all the device to this one. Now, if I am if I'm correct, this uses some kind of proprietary application. Uh, 
So if you want to do it, uh, you just select import from old phone and it will tell you to download on your old phone whatever the app's name is. And once you do so, you can then go to the pairing process, which is fairly quick. You just kind of use one phone to scan the other one's QR code and it does everything for you. And from there, you can choose what you want to move over to the new device. And obviously, the more data you would be moving, uh, the longer it will take. So uh, if you don't need everything, uh, putting off some, some things that you don't need uh, might be more beneficial, just gonna take less time in this case. Anyway, I'm gonna set it up as new, so I will select next, and this finishes up the setup right here. So I'm gonna select get started, and voila. So uh, as you can see, this is how we can go through the setup uh, of this phone. Apparently we cannot skip Wi-Fi connection for some reason, but once I figured that out, it went kind of smoothly. So anyway, that being said, if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.